Oilers, Butler, and IU. All ready to ball this afternoon in Naptown. Our first game of the day featuring two red hot teams, Purdue and Butler first. Hi, everybody. Gus Johnson along with my main man, Jimmy Jackson, the All-American out of Ohio State. And welcome to Indianapolis. Butler, Purdue, two teams that come in with mm -hmm. great winning streaks. Butler has won five in a row. The Boilers have won six. Yeah, and, and Butler Bulldogs have their work cut out. This is an experienced, deep, physical Purdue team that loves to get the ball in the paint. Can Butler use their physicality to negate some of the advantages the border makers may have. All right, time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline, Lisa Byington. Well, expect to see Butler's foreman, Sean McDermott, playing for the first time since November 24th against Portland State. That's a game where he injured his right ankle, but I talked to him in warm-ups. He says, I don't feel the ankle at all. He was full go for the first time Thursday and Friday at practice, thanks to a rehab three times a day for about an hour to an hour and a half. 74 hours of rehab in three weeks, Gus. All right, thank you, Lisa. Let's take a look at the Jeep Grand Cherokee starting lineup. That's Laval Jordan in his first year, 38-year-old former Butler player, came from Milwaukee where he was the head coach, Thompson. Keep your eye on him. Meanwhile, four Matt Painters, Purdue Boilermakers, Matthias Thompson, Edwards, Edwards, and the big man, Isaac Haas. The men, in stripes this afternoon, Pat Driscoll, Paul Sells, Rob Riley. The series history, Butler has won five straight in a series that Purdue leads 31 to 19. The last time the Boilermakers beat Butler in 1998, Laval Jordan was playing for the Bulldogs at that time. So here we go, Purdue and Butler, and we're underway from Indianapolis. Thompson, as the Boilermakers control the tip. They swing it. Inside, Edwards, right hand up and in. Well, excellent execution, and you see the mantra for Purdue. One look inside. If not, we're going to have guys dive to the basket to see if we can get two feet in the paint and score. Butler coming off a 95-67 win over Youngstown State on Saturday. Well, Isaac Haas takes up so much attention that time. Carson Edwards able just to navigate through the screen, curl, nice finish inside. Purdue beat IUPUI 86-61 at West Lafayette on Sunday. Edwards, second shot of the game off the mark, and here come the Bulldogs. Inside, Weidman drop step, and he draws a foul. And the big question for Butler, how are they going to handle the size of Purdue? Well, you move size. When Purdue is able to be steady, kind of locked in concrete, then they're going to have the advantage. But like you saw the play right there, Gus, get up the get up the court quick, move the defense, and now force the bigger guys to have to react. Isaac Haas not able to do it, picked up a foul. So Weidman at the line. Senior, 6'8", coming off a four-point game in 15 minutes against Youngstown State, but he's kind of a clean guy. He's a garbage guy. He can do a little bit of everything. And that's what you need if you're this Butler team, because he's going to rebound, he's going to defend, he's going to be the anchor of your defense, but also he runs the court. And I think that's where he has an advantage over when Isaac Haas is in the game. Matt Harms is in right now is a little bit more fluid in regards to getting up and down the court, a little bit more speed. 2-1 Purdue early on. Matthias, pick and roll, gets down the lane on the spin, 15-footer, counting. Like this game. I like his attitude. I mean, he's a guy that, he's a senior, he's been there, he can shoot it from the perimeter, but as you saw, Gus, able to put it on the deck. Nice little soft touch from 15 feet. Martin, he's a prolific scorer, this ball stolen. Carson Edwards to the hole. Oh, and in, didn't get a foul. Looks like there was some contact. Boilermakers, six straight wins. Had a big win at home in West Lafayette against Wolf. There's a handoff. Thompson gives it up. Tamar Baldwin at 19 points against Youngstown State. He's a speedster. Nine to shoot. Mark off the dribble. Picks it up. Weidman, a three. Not his game. Uh, you, want, 
you'll settle for that side anytime if you're Purdue. That's Edwards brings it up the floor. Matthias again, 18. Off the heel. Jorgensen, the George Washington transfer with the rebound. Bill Reagan to take it into the front court. Martin. Now Thompson. 12 to shoot. And a loose ball. Jorgensen lost it. Seven to shoot. Wyman picks it up. Five to shoot. Wyman gets down the lane. Fade away. Jumper short. Now, what, a, what activity all time by the Boilermakers. One guy, then the next, always there to support each other. Excellent defensive possession. Vince Edwards at three, and he rips it. Vincent Edwards, senior from Middletown, Ohio, had 12 against IUPUI in their last game. And the Boilermakers playing at a high level to start this game. That's right, where they're so balanced, Gus. They can beat you from the perimeter. They can pound the ball inside, so it puts your defense in a precarious situation on what to take away. What's the difference between the Chris Holtman Butler team and the Laval Jordan Butler team? Laval wants you to see a jump shot right here. Oh, beautiful shot that time by Keenan Martin is. He wants to add more pace to it. You're not as big as when Chris Holtman was there. He playing more of a three guard lineup. So subtle differences, but a lot of the mantra is still the same in regards to playing the Butler way. Chris Holtman, now the head coach at Ohio State. Your alma mater, Jim. Yeah. He slowly turned the Buckeyes around coming back from that Portland trip. He's been playing great basketball. Matthias. Mm. Our ball in the other way. And a whistle trap in violation. Called against Butler. Their third turnover to start this game. 15-54 to go. Purdue looking good. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car Beautiful day here in Indianapolis. Let's take a look at the Geico's player to watch. Isaac Haas, when I come back in my next life, Jimmy, I want to look like this guy. Seven foot, handsome, he's Captain America. Well, look, AKA the Big Shadow, also known as the new Captain America, can post up inside, but Keelan Martin is the key for Butler. I mean, he can do a little bit of everything. He has to be aggressive. So far, Carson Edwards off to a good start. Well, coming off a career high against IUPUI, 27 points, 11 for 17, averaging 17 points on the season, but he, the, he, he's almost put like a little fullback. He can get inside the gap, the gap, but then he can take the contact as well. Heady individual, a sophomore playing with great players around him. I think he's gonna be the key for this Purdue team. Carson Edwards, 6'1", 200 pounds. So he's got some size. You remember, Boston College years ago, John Bagley. John Bagley. Boston Celtic. Head result. Not as chubby as no, Bagley no, no, was no. back then. So here we go, Purdue. Inside, Vince Edwards facing on Martin, takes him off the bounce, 11 foot pull up, no. Jorgis rinse it down. Here he comes, high socks. Martin. I tell you guys, this Purdue team has great balance off of a miss. Rarely do they give up opportunities in transition. That just goes back to Matt Painter and his philosophy from a coaching perspective. Eight followers checked in for Butler, number 51. Keelan Martin cuffs it, jump hook, baseline, rattle it in. Sometimes, you see the hook? You see the hook, the running hook shot, Gus? I like it. Did he work on that over the summer, or did he just create that shot right there? What do you think? He's from Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> he came out of the womb with that shot. Now Haas posted up. He's got Fowler on his hip. Drop step. Off the glass head in. The big man with the soft touch. And he draws the foul. Well, how about the fact that he's eyeing. Watch his eyes. He's looking at the middle. Is the double team coming? No, no. Now I'm going to the baseline. And how about the soft shot inside? That's one hook. But how about Keelan Martin right here? A la Kareem Abdul-Jabbar running hook to the baseline. He might not even know who Kareem is. Uh -oh. <laughs> he might not. Are you serious? He might not. Isaac Haas, of course he does. The NBA's all-time leading scorer. Cool. Matt Payton. Now Thompson exploding to the baseline, gets a step, wraps it inside. Fowler. Oh, wow. 
what a play. If he would have waited, it would have fallen in. Nate Fowler. That was going down, Jim. No, it was right nope. on the end. But I love the play. It was a quick hitting play. Jurgensen able to get the ball back to Thompson quickly. But again, Isaac Haas is present. And they throw it away out of bounds. Intended for Haas. Yeah, and that's, that's an example right there from P.J. Thompson. Just because Haas was open, if you can't get it to him, pull it back, reset the offense. Now coming in the game, Sean McDermott. Richard sophomore from right here in Indiana, Anderson, Indiana. And Brian Klein enters for Purdue. Mark Baldwin, expect him to get going offensively. He can score points in bunches. Excellent defense that time with denying the ball from Baldwin by Johnson. Fowler shows it, drive, poked away from behind and out of bounds. Looks like it went off his foot. Five turnovers for Butler to start this game. Well, notice, Gus, that when a Butler Bulldog player drives, he always attracts traffic because Purdue loves to collapse the middle and force you to throw the ball back out to perimeter. Butler averaging 12 turnovers a game. Matthias can't get the bounce batted out by Haas. Nobody home, so the Bulldogs will have it. But how about Laval Jordan? Came from Milwaukee where he was a head coach prior to that with John Beeline. At Michigan, Todd LeClider at Iowa, played for Coach Collier here at Butler and Thad Mata. What a coaching pedigree he's had an opportunity to work on. Well, it's allowed him to create his own style. He took a little bit from each of those coaches and imported that into right now as you see what he wants to do with his team here at Butler. Thompson the other way. Dias inside, Haas, great position, missed the chippy. Paul Jorgensen the other way. Quick with the ball to the basket, rejected. Klein got a hand on. These teams really going at it. Edwards, 11 foot pogo stick, Jay no. And a foul on the floor. Guys, part of being an excellent defensive team is being in the position on the drive. And Klein is here, right on the hip of Jurgensen, but also in, in Jurgensen's eyesight. You can see Isaac Haas on the backside. Fowler picks up his second. Matthias heading out of the game. Back in now, Carson Edwards. Edwards breaking the ball, has it in the corner, guarded by Baldwin. Inside Haas, great position. And good. Isaac Haas, 7-2, senior. He's worked on his game. He's worked on his footwork, his conditioning. Ball went in and out to the hole. Haas. Wideman there for the follow. 14-8. Fly step back three. And we'll head the other way. Well, part of the issue with Isaac Haas inside, he's so big, you have to get better pressure on the passer so you can't just throw, drop it down inside. And there's a reason why Tyler Whiteman shoots 71% guys, because he's able to clean up the mess inside. And Tyler Whiteman has shot 50% or better in all but one game this year. Against Texas, he was over two. And during the team's five game winning streak, he shot 83%, 20 of 24. Weidman with the ball right now. Well, I love the fact, too, that he's staying within his game, Gus, not trying to be somebody he's not. McDermott feeds Weidman. Draws a double team, stripped out of his hands by Vincent Edwards. Uh, Butler will hold on. And how quick did Vincent Edwards drop down? Even though he didn't need the help, arms didn't, but on that dribble, Vincent Edwards was right there. And I know when you look at Purdue, you see these uniforms, Jimmy, it brings back <laughs> nightmares for your time at Ohio State. And why do you, you had trouble. Why do you you had that? trouble in West Lafayette. Well, a lot of people have trouble in West Lafayette. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is true. Yes, I was one and two. 
but we want it, you know, hey. at home. We finished three and two for real. That's right. And Vincent Edwards can't hold on. 11.52 to play in the first half. A battle from the Hoosier State. Purdue, Butler, 14-8 back after this. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. 14-8, Purdue, 17th ranked team in the nation, leading the Butler Bulldogs. Getting ready for bowl season in 11 days on a Wednesday. It's the Foster Farms Bowl as Arizona takes on Purdue on Fox. And then it's the Holiday Bowl as Washington State takes on Michigan State on FS1. We'll be in beautiful San Diego, California. And the huddle is sponsored by SoFi, offering smart solutions to help you reach your financial goals. Minus five on the glass, okay? All right, but it's a plus two, minus two right here, right? So now we'd be down one. So when you miss two, it goes two in the other direction. We'll get it back, let's go. Matt Painter, 47 years old, 13th season at Purdue. He's already won 275 games in West Lafayette, 300 for his career in his 14th season. And a coach that, from a national perspective, doesn't get a lot of the recognition, but you read off the numbers, he's been able to rattle off with this program. He's been successful. Wyman backdoor cut, Jurgensen nicely done. Now, how about the play coming out of the timeout, drawn up, drew up by the coaching staff, able to get a backdoor, Norm Purdue, Gus, will kind of overplay the wings and try to deny the pass. First basket for the George Washington transfer. Baseline, Carson Edwards, and it's good. This kid's got a nice game. He does. Aaron Thompson has to stay cl close and locked in to Carson Edwards. That time tried to go over the top of the screen, which allowed Edwards to float to the corner. Thompson. Inside, picks up his dribble in no man's land. Jurgensen, baseline jump shot, short. And here comes Edwards with a hard push into the front court. Gets down the lane, over Euro step, off the glass, got it! Uh-oh! Carson Edwards showing that he's got some boogie in his game, eight points. Meanwhile, Martin off the mark. Here comes Edwards the other way. That's not only boogie, it was a one, it was a one on three fast break. And a travel. Well, you think about it, right here, off the rebound, able to go. No one really for Butler picks up the ball. One on three, Carson Edwards able just to finagle his way down the lane and finish inside. Not good transition defense that time by Butler. And Coach George got to figure out some ass back in the game as Vincent Edwards heads out. Also coming in for Butler. Christian David, who had a 10-point game against Youngstown State, career high. He's a freshman for Kenner. Baseline wide. Thompson, 15-footer. Good. Uh, it was good discipline that time by Isaac Haas to stay down. But no jail Eastern went for the steal. That opened up the opportunity for Thompson just to catch him. Smoothly take that 15 foot jump shot. Clyde off a screen. Easter trying to track down the rebound. Martin takes it away from him. Here comes Thompson. Speed dribble. Look at the handle. Gets in the hole. Wraps it around. Wyman. And jump ball is a call. Butler hold on. They've got the error. Well, one of the few times you'll see see the steal attempt for steal. Now it leaves a wide open. Play to come right in here and take this jump shot. You really don't see that Aaron Thompson being wide open for Purdue to take chances like that, Gus. You usually play solid, force him to shoot over the top. That time, Aaron Thompson able to take advantage of it. Baldwin, baseline rise. Short, and a whistle. As Harms knocked out of bounds. Hey, Gus, here's your question. How do you get two seven-footers? I don't know how they <laughs> You did. know what I mean? I don't know. And, and actually, though, Matt Harms, he got recruited hey, because coach the coaching staff for Purdue were looking at his teammate. So it kind of fell into their lap. And now you got two that play a little different inside. But my goodness. Meanwhile, a foul away from the basketball looks like he's coming up against the Boilers. And it's. 
Foul called on Matthias is first. Here's Thompson. Along with David. Weidman. Baldwin. And Mark. Thompson using the screen. Martin down the lane on the hop, the teardrop, no. Loose ball, squirts out, Martin with it. New shot clock for Butler. Thompson in and out to the hole. Not a good pass, David can't hold on. And Butler turns it over again. Their sixth turnover of the first half. And you can't afford that because with this Purdue team, they're so good at capitalizing off of turnovers. And, and right now, Butler is really just kind of beating themselves in regards to the mental aspect of turning the basketball over. Yes, there's pressure from Purdue, but a lot of it is self-imposed by the Bulldogs. Aaron Thompson is a freshman. Given the job to run the show. Haas backs in off the glass and in. Seven points now for Haas. And Purdue takes a 20 to 12 lead. Well, when Isaac Haas gets this deep, guys, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, Tyler Weidman is a big guy, but he looks extremely small right there. And you got to make a commitment to get the ball out of Haas's hands early. If not, he's shown the ability to go away from the defense and then have a soft touch. When you talk about the seven footers, they're not just seven feet. Haas is seven two. And Harms is seven three. And how much does Haas weigh? Haas weighs. Exactly. 290 pounds. Solid as a brick. So when you're trying to battle that one on one, he gets too deep. Like right now, you have to come and get the ball out of his hand. And there's Haas again. Not only is he a big man, he's got a soft touchdown. But how here. about the footwork? That's three times we saw him spin away from the defense and then be, been able to go up with a feathery touch on the baseline and score. Largest lead of the game now. For Purdue. Baldwin. Way short. Another rebound for Haas. Here's Carson Edwards in transition. Top of the arc. Air ball, but a whistle. This is the Crossroads Classic from the Hoosier State. Back right after this. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Direct TV. 22 to 12, Purdue with their largest lead of the game, under eight minutes to play in the first half. Now tomorrow on Fox, the Packers fight to stay in the playoff hunt when they take on Cam Newton and the Panthers in an NFC showdown. It's a full slate of NFL action beginning at 1 Eastern on Fox. How about that run by Cam Newton last week against Minnesota? They say they don't want him to run, but when it came down to it, he went back to Bro. Auburn. Read option, planted that foot in the ground, and boom, he was up the field. He is who he is. So I was hoping he would get the touchdown. Mm. But you can't take that away from him. That's the strength of him. It's a threat all the time that he may run the ball. I remember the first time I met Cam Newton, Jimmy. He walked through the door, and you know who he reminded me of? You. Me. 6'6", <laughs> six, six, built Big. like Adonis. You know, I, 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 I was in the airport a few times. And the guy argued to me, he said, you're Cam Newton. I said, no, I'm not. He kept telling me who I was Cam. I said, all right, man, I'm Cam, I'm Cam okay. Newton. All right, I'm old time autograph, but OK. Cross court, Thompson. Short. McDermott tried to box him out, can't do it, and he bangs it off of him. Boilermakers hustling. What's one thing you know about Matt Payne's team? They will hustle from the beginning to the end. Well, it just seems like the Boilermakers are a half a step faster whether it's on the defensive end of the court or the hustle player as a shooter, because you know this, because you know you like to shoot. I ain't saying you made a lot, but no, you like to no, shoot. I do like to put it up. When it was coming off, you knew exactly where to That's right. it. <laughs> All the time. 7.38 to play in the first down. Boilermakers inside Haas. He's been brilliant, but this time he's 
fourth turnover for Purdue. Well, the senior Isaac Haas has developed this game so much before when he came in as a freshman, Gus. It was just about power. Now he's added finesse to his game. He feels the defense, spins away, soft touch. That's what you talk about player development when you speak about coaching staff. And the combination of Haas and Carson Edwards have scored 17 of Purdue's 22 points. Butler trying to get on track offensively. Martin almost had it taken away. Oh, classic defense. If you want to show your team about how you converge and you make a player uncomfortable and play without fouling. That time, three guys around Martin tip it away. Another guy gets his. Now you swarm again, force a turnover. Vincent Edwards back in the game. They're looking for Haas inside. He's got it. Short baseline out, backs his way in, bumping and grinding. Here comes a double, and they strip it. Thompson, Martin the trailer. They swing it. Baldwin. Baldwin to the hole. Haas just clears it with two hands. Again, it was crowded space, and Baldwin had no room. Look at the excellent defense and convergence by the Boilermakers. Edwards down the lane this time. And a whistle and foul. This will go against Purdue. Well, one thing if you want to do if you're Butler is attack Isaac Haas off the dribble. That time he's not aware of around to get two players around him. Second foul on Haas. He'll go out of the game at the 628 mark of the first half. Yeah. You know, when he when he's able to catch and just look and survey, he can beat you. But when the ball is on the deck. Now he can't react the same, and that's when you really want to come double team him and force him to give it up. Keelan Martin inbounds the ball. See if they try to get Martin on track. Baseline. That one in and out. Halfway down. Rebounded. Klein. And can't get the roll. Here comes Butler. Joy Brunk is checked in, number 50. Baldwin, mid range, and this time. Able to get that secondary break opportunity to get to his sweet spot at the free throw line. Vincent Edwards pops out for three. Bam. He has six. There's something about experience, guys. I mean, guys just know where they're at on the court. The communication is there. They don't try to do too much. It's the little subtle things on how to get your shot that you learn over the course of your career. Lamar Baldwin using a shoulder pin, but there for the follow is a big man, Joey Brunk. He's 6'11", sophomore from Indy. Yeah, that time Ryan Klein didn't get any support to Isaac Haas on Joey Brunk. He should have blocked him out that time. It was kind of ball watching. Look at Rowe Thompson. Cut off. Klein. Edwards shows it. Tried to step back. Almost lost it. Ten to shoot. Klein down the lane this time. The kick. Edwards rising fire. In and out. Martin saves it. Where are the scorers for Butler? There's the guy right there with Keelan. Brunk trying to keep it up high, and he's fouled by Hahn. Bulldog starting to show some signs of life now. Well, here's the key, Gus, is that they're able to attack this Purdue team in their secondary offense before they get set. So now you got the defense kind of scrambling. Now you can take advantage of it. So the last two possessions have been excellent, and I think a, a way for Butler to kind of get some easy opportunities instead of struggling somewhat in the half court. I remember Hubie Brown always talking about the secondary break. Always. The secondary break. It means a lot because you may not get that initial push off of the rebound, but if you continue to move and attack the defense now, a lot of times it's not set, and that's when you can get a good look. Joey Brunk off the bench with three points already. Brunk missed the final 24 games last year, granted a red shirt to be with his family as his dad, Big Joe, battled brain cancer. 
Try to dive in April. Matthias. Got a nice jet. Well, well you gotta, I know you have, to, you have to honor the pump fake, but Lamar Baldwin can't fly by. Once you go by, Matthias is too good at getting that shot up quickly and 15 feet he can knock that down into sleep. Jorgensen pick and roll with Brunk. Top of the arc, Baldwin. Drives down the lane, hard to kick Jurgensen. Quick release, no. Vince Edwards taps it to Matthias. Boilermakers on the move. Here's Edwards. And a trap. Dakota, Matthias got a little information for you. Stay down, the Air Force don't want you. Easy two. 3.34 to play. First half, 27-17, Purdue. All right, Stoner, thank you very much. Let's take a look at the Big East Powers, Villanova. Everybody's talking about how good the Wildcats are. How about Mikael, Mikael Bridges? He's the shooting jump shots. I mean, unbelievable. 19 points a game, unbelievable transformation. But how, Seton Hall is a team you got to keep your eye on. This is a team that's physical, they're tough, they have versatility, plus they're playing at a more mature rate. They yeah. could uh, push Villanova. But the story today so far, Purdue, the inside outside combination, Carson Edwards and Isaac Haas. Working well inside. And how about Keelan Martin? Typically, the last two games, 20 plus point, points in this building, Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Not getting the looks right now. I feel he needs to be more aggressive. A lot of that can be pushed by Kamar Baldwin being more aggressive also. Purdue with 18 points in the paint, Butler with eight. And Butler has been sloppy with the basketball. They've turned it over seven times. They averaged 12 turnovers a game. There's ball. Guarded by Easter. Jurgens, White, Martin. Christian David as well. Ten to shoot. Baldwin, 15 footer at the free throw line. A brick. David with a rebound. Tries to get inside. Rejected by Vinnie Edwards. And David saw Matt Harms in the in the background there, that allowed Vincent Edwards to come over the top to get that block. Carson Edwards now. Dias. Fade away jumper. David crosses over to the hole, rejected out of bounds. Harm says, not in my house. Yeah, but Christian David that time was unsure really what he wanted to do. Pass it, shoot it, get by. But it's the reason why this young man is one of the top shot blockers in the country. It's all about timing and also being in the right position. Purdue with five block shots already. Baseline mark off balance. No gel. Easter with the rebound. He's a freshman from Chicago. Played his high school ball in Evanston. Edwards up top, boom. Vinny. Nine points for Vincent Edwards. Largest lead of the game now for the Boilers. I love the timing of that play, Gus. Not too soon, but Vincent Edwards were able to catch and shoot right in rhythm. I gotta tell you a secret. What's that? It's a, secret. It's a big secret. Thompson crosses over. Up top, Baldwin. Wiper with a rebound. Martin with a rebound. And it was Matt Painter not happy with his team's defensive effort on that trip. Well, he has to be happy with the last offensive execution because that time it was the patience of Purdue that got the shot, but the offensive rebound inside, again, it's a support on the backside. If Harms goes to block a shot, somebody else has to come in. All right, here's the seat. You ready? Yeah. I can't wait to go to Mackey Arena this year. That is one of my favorite places in college basketball. Built for basketball, baby. I was oh there with Valpo for about a week and a half ago. Still, I mean, now, I didn't like it when I played. <laughs> oh, no, you just like it there. <laughs> and you're lucky you came before Glenn Robinson. No, well, I wasn't lucky. Let me tell you something. I said this before. I got introduced to Big Ten basketball by Steve Sheffield. 
who reminds me a lot of Isaac House. And all Sheffer did was set a pick on him. But it was like I hit a brick wall. Welcome to the Big Ten. That Welcome was that to the Mac Big Ten. <laughs> Michigan State looks good this year. Oh, Minnesota looks good. Purdue looks good. Edwards. And wrapping it in. Off the bounce. Carson Edwards with 10. Boilermakers smacking around the Bulldogs in their hometown. 32 to 19. I'm so impressed with Carson Edwards and his decision making. Just a sophomore, but he just has a feel for the game. Now, I'm going to tell you something, Jimmy. What's going to tell me? As a Ohio State uh, alum, one of the great players in the history of you know it's a setup. Ohio State. No, it isn't. You guys, the Buckeyes, have a guard coming from the New York Tri-State area. Newark, New Jersey. His name as a tie-up. Luther Muhammad. Is going to step on campus next year, folks, breaking ankles. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes and ears on that name, Luther Muhammad. Yeah, so give us some time with the team. I'll get back to it when we get back. All right. Good story. Folks. Back after this. When this bell rings, it starts a chain reaction that's heard throughout the connected business world. AT&T Network Security helps protect business from the largest financial markets to the smallest transactions by sensing cyber attacks in near real time and automatically deploying countermeasures, keeping the world of business connected and protected. That's the power of AND. Matt Painter, what a great coach. His team 10-2, they've won six in a row. He played at Purdue for Coach Katie, but this man played at Purdue too. The legend, John Wooden, All-American, three times. And then he went on to a successful career as a college basketball coach in Westwood. We wrote history. The Wizard of Westwood. 13th season as Purdue's head coach, Matt Painter. And he's a big hip-hop fan. And I kind of challenged him on that in the locker room before the game. I said, who's your favorite? He said, of course. Run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Matt is into it from that perspective. But they say Matt Painter has a photographic memory. Out of sat next to him in class. Vincent Edwards. Ball knocked away. Ball when Edwards gets it back. Eight to shoot. Carson Edwards and an offensive foul. Nicely done by Aaron Thompson to slide in and take the charge. Anticipation that time, knowing that Carson Edwards wanted to get to the baseline. Aaron Thompson able to slide, get his body in front. Forced to charge. Butler, five and one in the Crossroads Classic, the best record of any team in the field. And they've won 11 of 14 games all time at Bankers Life Field Hop. Not playing their best basketball in the first half. Jorgensen, 17 to shoot. Thompson, the tear drop, and air ball. Weidman has it blocked by Harms. Weidman tried to reload. Carson Edwards comes out, and he'll pull it back and play for a shot. 14 seconds remaining in the first half. Carson Edwards may try to do this by himself. If he can get it back, Klein a three. Bang. Boilermakers. Jurgensen. That one won't go down. Purdue holds Butler to 19 points, 22% shooting. And Klein with the dagger at the end of the first half. The ability to get to a spot, the confidence. Tyler Weidman not there in time. We're talking about ending the half the right way, Gus. Taking momentum in the locker room, no better way to do it than the dagger three. All right, let's go to Lisa Byington. Yeah, balance has always been your key, and we saw some inside-outside from your offense. How do you grade out your offense here in this first half? Well, I thought we had some good looks um, early on that didn't go down for us. I thought we could have opened it up. To be in this position and Isaac Haas not be on the floor as much as we would like him, um, we feel pretty fortunate. But we just got to be efficient. If we're going to throw the ball inside or play on the perimeter, we just got to be efficient. 
you held them to 19 points and below 25% shooting. How disruptive has your defense been? Well, we wanted to try our best to bottle up uh, Kamar Baldwin and then stick with their shooters and then not allow them second chance opportunities. They've gotten some opportunities off the glass, so we just got to stick with our rules and keep playing hard. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, that's the end of the first half with the score. Purdue 35, Butler 19. We'll send you to Rob Stone in L.A. with the Jeep Grand Cherokee Halftime Report right after this. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Indianapolis, Indiana, the Crossroads Classic. Boilermakers with a 35-19 lead as we head to the second half. Gus Johns along with Jimmy Jackson. I tell you, if you're Matt Painter, you must really appreciate the inside-outside combination that Haas and Edwards has provided for him today. Well, it makes it a tough combination to guard because when you have a guard playing like Carson Edwards, a guy that can put the ball in the deck, he can beat you with the dribble, physical specimen, can absorb contact. It makes it tough on the defense. And in today's game, it's all about three-point shooting, but to have an anchor inside, to have a guy you can drop it down to to give you solid points is a must, and that's why this Purdue team is so difficult to guard. Isaac High, nine points, nine of the 18 Purdue points in the paint. As you take a look at the halftime stats. Well, free throw shooting, three-point field goal, but look at 50% shooting for the Boilermakers. 23 rebounds. Now, 12 of those rebounds for Butler were offensive rebounds re resulted in eight points, and I'm sure Matt Painter will talk about that, talked about that at halftime. Well, Purdue likes to block shots. Sometimes it seems like they may be out of position. Let's go to Lisa Byington. There were two numbers that bothered Lavelle Jordan when he looked at the box score. It was turnovers by Butler and three-point makes by Purdue. Now, with the turnovers, he said they forced us into some rush situations. That's what Purdue does. And the three-pointers bug me because I'm going to let Isaac Haas shoot that hook shot. We're going to let that one go. But in terms of defending the three, the second half, they got to close out quicker on the catch, Gus. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. So we start the second half. Butler with the basketball. Here's Kamar Baldwin along with Keelan Martin, Thompson, Jorgensen, and Weidman. Jorgensen, that one off the side of the rim. Loose ball tracked down by Carson Edwards. Yeah, not the possession you want coming out of, you know, halftime. You want to get something a little bit more solid, probably get the ball inside and see if you can get an easy basket. Haas inside, stripped out of his hands by Weidman and out of bounds. And 18 on the shot clock. It's so difficult just to keep Isaac Haas out of the lane. And I'm going to go back to this, Gus. In order to help Weidman out, the Butler guards have to do a better job of making the pass inside a lot more difficult. Top of the key. And this one goes down for Matthias. And he seems like he's able to pop out right around that free throw line top of the key and he's wide open almost every time. Isaac Haas is setting the pick for you. I better believe you're going to get open. He would have been your best friend. Oh, best. I would have taken him out to eat all the time. <laughs> he would have got me buckets. Thompson spinning. Ah, snatches it down. DJ Thompson, the point guard. Starts the offense, Matthias again, and this time he's fouled. Guys, let's take a look at our Lexus play, but classic underneath out of bounds play. Watch Matthias come right in between the gap, right in between these two bigs, and now they're able to get the shot in. Think about this, Gus. If you can get six to eight points a half out of out of bounds plays, side out of bounds, side plays, that adds to your offense. Thias with the season high 24 against Arizona. Another jump shot goes down. This time it's Carson Edwards who has 13. Just keeping the Butler defense off balance. As soon as he heads towards one side, it's a quick pass, quick drive, and now you got an open shot. Meanwhile, Aaron Thompson somehow gets that over the outstretched arm of Isaac Haas. He has four, 41 to 21. Butler has to get consecutive stops to get back in this game, Gus. Ability to penetrate and that time Aaron Thompson kind of put his left shoulder right into the chest of Isaac Haas Didn't allow him to use his size to his advantage Inside Haas can't make the catch taken away by Keelan Martin 
Martin's got to get going offensively. Baseline, Baldwin. And a whistle and foul away from the ball. And if that's Haas, it's his third. Now Harms will come back in for the first time here in the second half as Haas leaves with his third foul. One seven footer to another seven footer. What a luxury it is to have. And on the baseline, Aaron Thompson steps out of bounds. And actually, when Matt Harms comes in the game, fluidity wise, he gives you a little bit more because he can run the floor. His shot blocking ability is uncanny for a young player like that. Maybe not the score yet that Isaac Haas is on the block. Here's a weave up top. Top of the arc, Vince Edwards. Thompson down the lane, the kick, Matthias rises. Vince Edwards with the offensive rebound, quick turn to the bucket, and one. How about Vince Edwards able to nudge? Keelan Martin under the basket, knowing the ball was going to come off long. And how about the strength right there, Gus, to go up through the contact to get the foul? Edwards with 11 points. Make it 12 now. That Painters team playing at a high level. 10 to 2, winners of six in a row. 44 to 21. Purdue only two losses this season. Western Kentucky, Tennessee. Tennessee making a big comeback this year under Rick Barnes. Inside wide, the jump hook left hand got it over Harms. Sometimes the plays are not pretty, Gus. Butler that time this this scrapping. Ugly two points, but it was two. Ball knocked away, Thompson. We'll track it down. Martin, watch out. Two hands, jam. Timeout, Butler. 44 to 25, 1655 to play second half. Back after this. Welcome back. Vincent Edwards has been the story for this Purdue border maker team. 12 points for seven shoot. I have a kind of a sentimental effect because I know his father really well. Bill Edwards is from Ohio. And when you have a senior like that that can give you buckets inside and out. It'd be a tough team to beat. All right, for more on Vincent Edwards, let's go to Lisa Byington. Yeah, well, he learned how to play basketball from his dad and his brother, but he also learned how to play basketball from his mom, Glennetta Patton. She was his very first basketball coach. So this is video. Vince Edwards is four or five years old here. He makes the bucket, and then he gets a little bit ridiculed by mom there on the sideline. She sat him after that bucket, guys, because the message was they were up by double digits. She told the team, hey, look, we're not going to take a shot before everybody makes five passes. Son didn't listen, so Son got to sit the rest of the game, and Son got a lesson about teamwork. Mama knows best, Gus. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, Vincent. <laughs> five passes. Who wants to pass the ball five times? What is this, Hoosiers? This is like, I want buckets. <laughs> Jimmy, you never passed the ball oh, no, five no. times, on, ever. Come on, man. See, five times? Come on, Jim. Listen, this is what I figured out. <laughs> you share the ball. God's going to respect your teammates. That's going to get you easier shots. I always love to share the ball. Yeah. Now give it to me late. Uh -huh. Okay, when they count. How many points did you score at Ohio State? A lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I had great teammates yeah. that understood how to get me open. So we're working right. for them. Here is Carson Edwards. He's getting open on his own, and he draws a foul. And we'll go to the line. And, and what you have when you have a team as experienced as Purdue, when you draw a play in, this, in the huddle and the timeout, the attention to details there. That time, well executed double curl. Now you're able to get the shots you want. Not only that, you pick up a foul. Carson Edwards. Short, 45-25. Butler's got to figure something out now. Jorgensen. And 
inside. Nate Fowler. Blocked by Harms. Fowler gets it back. And the reverse layup goes down. Well, that's when someone from the weak side of Purdue had to clean up that miss, but Fowler able to stay with him. You see the difference with Harms. You're able to battle and push him underneath the rim with Isaac, Isaac Hodge. You can't do that. Harms a freshman. Edwards. And an offensive foul called against Carson Edwards. Second time, Thompson has slid in and taken a charge. Again, the anticipation, able to get back and get his body right in front of Carson Edwards. Outstanding footwork. So Edwards will hit the bench. Klein in now. Aaron Thompson, the freshman from Glendale, Maryland. Ball the sixth. Ball on top of the arc. Fowler. Long rebound picked up by Harms. Purdue with all the answers defensively. Uh, they just swarm you and force you to take contested shots. And that's the thing, guys. If the guy beats you over the top of the contested shot, there's nothing you can do. Dias has got a quick trigger. Edwards deep. Mm, pure. He didn't pass it five times, Mom. <laughs> Catch and shoot. Or, you know the difference with this Purdue He's team? got 15. And he should have more. The difference with this team is you see Kamar Baldwin going in right now. That beautiful move. Coach Bader says it's okay. Yeah, in the past, Gus, the challenge was perimeter shooting for Purdue. They always had a nice inside presence, but that problem has been solved with the guards that they have now. Thompson, Brown wanted to travel. Edwards. Once again, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> one shot, one pass, one shot. Thompson goes down hard on his tailbone, and he's hurt. Hard fall by Aaron Thompson. Mm. He's a freshman, though. He's made of rubber and steel. He'll be all right. Well, the tendency when you go to the basket and you airborne is to put your arm down and put your hand down to offset the fall. And a lot of times, that's how you do hurt your wrist or elbow because it's just a natural thing to put your hand on the ground and steady yourself. And, oh, and not only that, but he fell on it. All right, 14.53 to go. Looks like he'll be all right. 48-27, Purdue. All right, folks, we have something really special for you to start the new year. Tuesday, January 2nd, FS2 will take you all access for the women's matchup between Creighton and Seton Hall, and it will be commercial-free. Creighton coach Jim Flannery and Seton Hall coach Tony Bozella will be mic'd up live. That's right, live. You will hear every play call, be in the huddles, in the locker room at halftime. You will hear it all live, commercial-free, Tuesday, January 2nd, exclusively on FS2. Lisa Byington and Lachina Robinson will be your announcers. So at the free throw line, Aaron Thompson, who shook off the injury after going down hard. He has five points. And Matt Painter talked about bottling up Baldwin who averages 13 points a game. Kamar Baldwin today is 1 for 11. And that's just outstanding team defense, but how about the job Dakota Mathias has done on Keelan Martin his garden? Non-factor. Yeah, and I got a little story about that and why it's important. Mathias creates space, fade away. Ooh. Mathias, that jump shot is really working today. He has nine. And how about Martin and Matthias Dakota worked out together this summer. One on one, got to know each other, learned each other's moves, and he actually told Coach Payne, I want to guard Keenan Martin. Very interesting. Top of the arc, Baldwin, one of 11. One of 12. Edwards with a rebound. Matthias in transition, baseline. This one rattled in by P.J. Thompson. Purdue can do no wrong. 14 minutes remaining. 53 to 29, largest lead of the game for the Boilermakers. Yeah, and, and Butler hasn't made it tough on Purdue to take tough shots. They've, they've been able to get to their spots, triple drive penetration, move around with freedom. And a turnover. 
And a foul coming up the floor. Fowler reaching in on Haas. And to boot, their defense has just been that much more active. Not only with their hands, Gus, but they've been in the right positions when a Butler player wants to drive with somebody in front. And Matt Painter, his team is playing so well, you rarely see him not saying anything on the sideline. There's nothing to say. Well, but it comes to this, too, though, Gus. You have four seniors in the starting lineup. That in itself, in regards to what you have to do as a coach on the sideline, diminishes a little bit more because you trust the guys on the court. Inside Haas, great position. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Mm -mm. Big felt. How do you keep him from catching it that deep? Well, again, the pressure on the passer, that pass has to be looped inside. If it's a direct line pass inside, like right here, that's direct line, but there's nothing you can do about it. Burton, there's nothing he can do about it because he's just too big. The only thing you can really do is if the ball is in the air, is that you trap immediately on the catch and get it out of his hands. But obviously that wasn't the game plan by the coaching staff because they have a double team. 55-29. Baldwin kicking Jurgensen. Trying to create off the dribble, the step back jump shot goes down. Paul Jurgensen with four points. 13 minutes to play. B.J. Thompson muscles this one into the front court. Edwards inside, Haas again, and a foul. Joey Brunk, call for the foul. Let's take a look at the three teams that are considered to be the big time contenders, Spartans, Boilers, Gophers. That was Spartans, maybe Tom Izzo's best team, deepest team. Got Purdue Boilermakers on point here. The, the Golden Gophers, a team that's interesting, because they're starting five to be with anybody. The question is, how deep can they go? The depth of their bench is a factor in regards to really, if you eat into that starting lineup, who can come in and kind of give you the push you need? That's going to be an outstanding question of both his team. Michigan State's only loss to Duke. Duke losing at Boston College to Matthias. And a foul coming up over the back. Let's see who this goes against. If it's Haas, this is fourth, and it is. It's been tough. To really get a rhythm because of the foul trouble with Isaac Haas, and a lot of it, and that play was just a hustle play, better play by Keelan Martin that time. But he's been effective. Isaac, I know it's tough not playing the minutes you want, but very productive in the time he's on the court. McDermott. All just not going down for Butler. They've shot 50% or better in six games, including a season best 59% against Youngtown State last Saturday. Jurgensen with the steal to the hole, off the glass, and in. Fifty-six thirty-three. Jurgensen with six points. Dias. Cross court skip. Klein gets it back. Nice look. Arms just couldn't hold on. Big fella's got to catch it. Eleven fifty-five to play. Second half. Purdue looking really good. Fifty-six thirty-three. Phillips Norelco. Welcome back to Fox College Hoops, sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. 56 to 33, Purdue leading Butler. Let's take a look at some premier freshmen in the nation. Oh, these guys are good. Uh, really good, really talented. Aiden DeAndre, prototypical center, wide shoulders. Marvin Bagley can do everything. How about Trey Young putting up numbers in buckets? Down in Norman, Oklahoma, I mean, from Norman, Oklahoma, chose to stay home. And Colin Saxon, one you don't hear a lot about, but Avery Sexton. But Avery Johnson has this young man straight ball. Trey Young, though, five straight games of 28, three straight games of 30. Maybe they're saying the next step curve. One and done. Turned down Kentucky to stay with Lon Kruger at Oklahoma. As Martin has his shot blocked, Elon Martin just unable to get on track. 
He had seven points at halftime. Nine overall right now. They need a scoring right now. Edwards, the floater inside. Loose ball, picked up. Here come the Bulldogs, Jorgensen. The three, and good. A little push right here by Butler, defensively able to get some stops and now get out in transition. Baseline, climb. Just too easy. I mean, a lot, again, I'm going to go back to it, Gus. A lot of the shots that the Boilermakers are able to get are basically wide open. Martin, the fade. And Wyman with the rebound, and he's fouled. When I walked in the gym today, I, I thought I saw Travis Diener in mm. uniform again. I tell you what, Paul Jurgensen looks like a young Travis Diener. He does. He does. Travis Diener, one of the coaches at Marquette. Mm. A player development director, to be exact. Wyman, 12 to shoot. Looking for a guard. Eight to shoot now. Jorgensen. Thompson crosses over, got it up, and hits. Butler starting to fight back now. 59-38. Eight points for Thompson. They've trailed by as many as 26. Martin with the steal. Can't hold on. Baseline. Edwards. Weidman trying to take it away from Harms. And good sportsmanship. No harm. No foul. No. Two teams playing hard. But Butler a little bit more aggressive on the defensive end the last two possessions. Purdue kind of pulling back a little bit in regards to not being as aggressive and assertive offensively, playing into the hands of Butler. Baldwin coming back in. And a timeout call by Purdue. Back right after this. All right, the remaining unbeaten teams and you had a chance to call one of their games. Bobby Hurley's Arizona State Sun Devils can naturally get it done. Golden State Warriors are college basketball. Oh, my yes, goodness. Yes. Cody Justice is a shooter. Evans is a shooter. Trey Holder is a shooter. They break you down off the dribble. They make you pay. But you know what? The pace of play they play with us, they only turn the ball over 11 times a game. They force 15 turnovers. I love watching that team play. And then you got Remy Martin coming off the bench, providing another scoring punch. Oh, I love it. Tell you what, it didn't take Coach Hurley long. Only three years at Arizona State. Hey, went into Lawrence and beat Kansas. That's saying something. Vincent Edwards. Under 10 to go, 59-38 Purdue, out of the Big Ten. Butler out of the Big East, turns it over. It's been a problem for him. Klein, the trailer, moves inside for Harms, out of bounds. Thompson goes down hard once again. Thompson, this, I used to tell people all the time, as much as you can avoid hitting the deck, do it, because the, the deck don't give. And that time, that's his great hustle. Just not able to get his footing underneath him on the fall again. And man, Thompson go fill it after this game. Oh, he's going to need a nice ice oh, bath. What? Klein on the inbound. Ball reversal. DJ Thompson takes his time at the screen. Gets inside. Picks it up. Klein. The nice jump shot. There it is. Ball the other way. Badly. This Purdue defense, though, has been excellent. Everything tough as they force another turnover. DJ Thompson with Klein. Fourteen to shoot. Arms. Edwards. Look at that ball movement there. Edwards. And an offensive foul called on Vincent Edwards. But Purdue's defense has been the story. 
Well, you, you put in a defensive game plan, Gus. You say this is what we want to do, but it's up to the players to execute that. Again, going back to the leadership perspective, this team has been all over the place. They made it extremely difficult for Keaton and Martin, Kamara Baldwin, and Jorgensen at that point to feel comfortable. You know, and, and give credit to the players for the attention to detail to the scouting report. Don't forget, we've got another game coming up for you here at the Crossroads. Classic Notre Dame, Indiana. Archie Miller in his first year at IU, replacing Tom Crean, coming from Dayton. Mike Gray, one of the longest tenured college basketball coaches in the nation. Being interesting. Martin. Batted out. Jorgensen takes a three. And hits. 12 points now for Jorgensen. He had two at halftime. 59 41. Now they can, Butler can cut into this lead. Down 18. If you can get it down to nine, maybe about a four minute mark. Dias curling down the lane, hangs in the air and draws a foul. 7.50 to play. Purdue still in control. 59-41. Fox College Hoops is sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Heineken, open your world. 59-41, Purdue. Fox Sports Supports is proud to team up with Snowball Express and their commitment to providing hope and new happy memories to the children of our fallen heroes while on active duty since 9-11. We remember, visit FoxSportsSupports.com to learn how. Gus Johnson, Jimmy Jackson, Lisa Byington with you from Indianapolis, Indiana. Thias at the line, four of ten from the field. He's placed great defense on his buddy, Keelan Martin. That jump shot is perfect. Unbelievable what you learn about a player by working out with him. I said, now, how are you going to use this summer to impact the game? He said, I just learned some of the tendencies from Keelan Martin, the go-to move, what he loves to do, what makes him uncomfortable. And it's paid off for the board to make the team. 60-41. Badly. Here's Jurgensen on a switch. He's been hot in the second half. Martin down the lane. Lost it. Picked up. Matthias. Turnovers have been a problem for Butler today. They've turned it over 14 times. Yeah, but you have to be smarter. You know the defense is going to converge. That's when Keelan Martin could have pulled up for a nice little jump shot. Arm jump up mm. from Matthias. 62 to 41. Fowler, Martin to three. Finally. Martin with 12. Purdue so patient offensively. Harms. Another jump hook off the glass this time. No. Out of bounds will stay here. Gus Sharing is contagious. Matt Harms from the pass from Dakota Mathias right here. Just having a ball out here. Enjoys the game, enjoys competing. More importantly, enjoys his teammates. Yeah, Haas. With four fouls, back in the game. Look at Haas posting foul. He wants it back, reloads, takes a closer step, jump hook, no, but a foul. Outstanding inside out. Isaac Haas didn't feel comfortable with the first possession, kicked it back out, got deeper position, and then smartly, Vincent Edwards went right back inside to him. And this may sound like a silly question. At 7-2, is there a place in the NBA for a player like this still? The way the game has changed, it makes it a little bit more difficult because he would have to be able to guard 
a non prototypical center in pick and roll out in space. That makes it tough. But there is a place where I think with a certain team that he can play. Maybe not extended minutes because they would try to exploit the mismatch, but there's a place for it. 63 to 44. And Baldwin almost lost the handle. Tracks it down, backs it up. High stepping. Skip pass deflected by Carson Edwards. 10 to shoot. Thompson to the basket. Raked out of his hands, out of bounds. Let's go to Lisa Byington. Well, Isaac Haas has reached out to Caleb Swan again when he had back to back 20 point games when they played Big Ten competition in December. And he said, What am I doing wrong? And Caleb Swan again told him, You're too nice. You have to play angry. You have to act like you've done, they've done something wrong to you. Take each possession as its own. And, and Isaac Haas said, Look, I was disappointed in myself. He gave me that advice. And I've never been more thankful than to talk to someone like that who's been through it and gone through that, Gus. Thank you, Lisa. Well, you are who you are. Now, Caleb Swan again has a reason why to play angry. He has some tough upbringing. Isaac Haas may not be built like that, but I think more so it's includes an attitude. Yep. An attitude that you can't be stopped to use your aggression. You see another almost steal right there, but that's what you talk about, changing your attitude. Did you play angry, Jimmy? When no, I couldn't play angry. I could, it, it, it wasn't natural for me. I play with an attitude that being angry to me, it forces me to take bad shots, to not concentrate as much, but an attitude I did have. You know what I mean? I did. I played with that. Now some guys can play. Them. The duel get the ball back. Pat Driscoll, one of the great referees in college basketball. Always a pleasure to see his face when you step into a gym. You know you're in good hands. Well, and you also know. You don't see his face across the TV because he's making the right calls and he's not dominating. <laughs> you know the airwaves, you know what I mean? Here's Haas. Mm. On foul. Lost it. Jurgensen spinning. Kicks it. Baldwin on the move off that end. Beautifully done by Butler. Creating opportunities off the turnover. 63 to 46. Baldwin has not had his best game. Four points. DJ Thompson. And a foul. This time Jordan Brunk, Joey Brunk able to get his hand in. How about Kamar Baldwin able to navigate his way to get his left handed, was able to get to the middle. Transition opportunity for Butler. So Edwards goes to the line. And he gets the first. And check out Carson Edwards. And I'll tell you this. I've been covering sports for over 25 years. I've never seen a bow legged guy that wasn't a great athlete. As a matter of fact, in hockey, they look for bow legged players. Why? Is it, what, the way you skate? Explosion. Explosion off the. Okay. You know, now sometimes, too, that could be a detriment because you put a lot of pressure on your hips and knees. That's true. You, you know what I mean? As far as the push, but. But he's strongly built from the waist down. He's built like a football player. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that's why he's able to, you know, get in those spots in the lane, explode, but then take the contact. Physical. Physical. I Rugged. mean, listen, he's just a sophomore. You're talking about still trying to understand the college game and himself, and this game is going to continue to mature. And he's got a great coach. Oh, yeah. Most important thing, Thompson. Martin a three. And good. Keelan Martin with 15 now. 65-49 Purdue. Under five to go. Is that a little too late for Butler? It's the question. Matthias has been great on the curl. Bang. Every time Butler kind of makes a run, gets some momentum. It's a senior. For Purdue that steps up and takes that momentum away. Baseline, Butler fumbling the ball. Wyman comes out with it in the corner. Thompson. Pick and roll. Baldwin wraps it around. Thompson 
Almost tried to jump hook. Good. I don't know if Thompson knew what he wanted to do on that play. It was like he, he was open to take the shot, but he said, no, in his mind, I want to take it to the basket. And it just opened up, able to get the easy two. Aaron Thompson with 10 points. He had two at halftime. Matthias, dangerous here. One hand pass deflected by Baldwin. Martin is the trailer. Baldwin pressures the defense, gets to the hole, and lays it in. 67 53. Butler still fighting. Great crowd here. 20,000 sellout. Crossroads Classic. The cradle of basketball. Basketball brought to the great state of Indiana from Springfield. Jurgensen. Weidman. Uh oh. Butler fans on their feet. 67-55, 26-10 run for the Bulldogs. It's been a rough going this afternoon, but Butler, a lot of fight still left in him. Kamar Ball within transition, off balance, able to get it. Tyler Weidman closing the gap for Butler. Purdue 67, Butler 55. Classic coming up next, 18th ranked Notre Dame is set to hit the hardwood against IU right here on Fox, or you can stream it live on Fox Sports Go. As you take a look at our score, this is the closest Butler has been since four minutes to go in the first half. And Butler, 29 points in the first 26 minutes, 26 points in the last 11 minutes as we take a look at the players to watch. 15 points for Haas. Martin starting to get warm as well. And Jimmy, you like this concept, and as an Ohio State grad, you'd like to bring to the Bring it to the great state of Ohio. I would. Think about it. Dayton, Cincinnati, Xavier, and Ohio State. Teams that generally don't play each other except for Xavier and Cincinnati when they have their rivalry. But I would love to see that. And I'm, I'm working on it now to see if we can get that to Ohio. You know what we could call it, right? The Jimmy Jackson Dino Mike Classic. And a steal. Ball with picking P.J. Thompson's pocket. And look at the Bulldogs. Guys, I'm kind of surprised because this Purdue team is normally solid, in particular closing out games. But Butler has been more aggressive down the stretch. And it's always tough to, when you've been leading through the course of the game, to maintain that same concentration. That slip of time, momentum, Butler has been able to take advantage of and get back in this game. Baldwin with the free throw. 3 of 14 from the field. 67 56 this young man from the state of Georgia with the chance to make it a 10 point ball game and here we go college basketball on Fox Sports we're about to get into the thick of it folks we've got the Big East the Big Ten and the Pac-12 and a foul in the backcourt time Aaron Thompson just a little too aggressive on the trap and you have to be mindful of your Butler yes you want to play aggressive but every time you foul you're going to send this Purdue team who's shooting 76 percent to the free throw line DJ Thompson first one good DJ is from Indianapolis as Harms comes back in for Haas. Thompson with four. He's committed just eight turnovers in 345 minutes this season. Second one good. The ball is safe in his hands. 69-57. A lot of time left. Jurgensen. And hits! Whoa! Jurgensen has exploded in the second half. He had two at the break. He's got 15 now. And the 26-point lead has been cut to nine. Gus, how quick did Jurgensen be able to get this shot off? Carson Edwards kind of went under the screen. You have to stay attached to a shooter like this. You give him any amount of space going to make you pay for it. Gus, I said, you know, four minute mark, try to cut it at a half. You I'm said a, I'm that. A, I'm a minute off, but they got the lead down to nine. They have momentum on their side in regards to defense. Purdue is kind of playing back on their heels, but 
what you can do is pick up the files and get to the free throw line. You know, Butler just got back in this game, just pure fight. They're able to get multiple defensive stops, and the best way to score against this Purdue Border Maker team is to get out and transition and run. And then in half court, get it to your shooter. Transfer in from George Washington, understands how to play in pressure situations. And from 19 points to nine points in two minutes, Matt Painter drawing it up now. The Jurgensen played for Mike Lonergan and George Washington. Very good friend of mine. Coach Lonergan and I used to play one on one when he was a coach at Catholic University. Did you did you see Edema? What come on now? That mean well, he, go and say it. He gave a solid effort. <laughs> so, so that means he didn't win much. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, not quick the foot. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Yeah, okay. 301 to okay. go. Okay. Matthias, Thompson, Carson Edwards, Vinny Edwards, and Haas. Thompson. Guarded by Baldwin. Be careful, Baldwin, fourth in the conference and steals. Ooh, Haas just pinned his man and jammed it down with a foul on the floor. Hey, listen. What a luxury. See, see that little bump right there? I mean, what a luxury it is to have the ability to depend on a post player to get it inside. And think about this, 81% free throw shoot. At 7-2, he's three for five today. But you can depend on him in late game situations off of an offensive rebound or on a post play that if he gets fouled, he can convert from the free throw line. How many teams have that luxury? And he gets them both. Now Harms comes back in. Haas to the bench. He's got four fouls. Offense, defensive substitution. Purdue fans rising. Butler fans rising. This is the Crossroads Classic from the cradle of college basketball. The great state of Indiana. Baldwin down the lane on the curl. Dips, pumps, double clutch. No. Seventy-one to sixty. Purdue trying to fight him off, and Jurgensen called for the foul. Again, the long arm to defensive attitude of this Purdue border maker team makes it tough for Butler, especially inside on a smaller guard with Baldwin, to get that shot up and in. B.J. Thompson, two for two from the line. You love to have a guy like this kid on your team. He's a senior. Not flashy, but he doesn't make mistakes. Who's flashy for Perduta? I mean, they just kind of get up into you, beat you up the right way. And then, coach is broken this all the time. Just late game situations, tired of the knockdown free throw. Baldwin, 14 foot fadeaway. No. Vincent Edwards, nice rebound. As we approach the two minute mark, Purdue will slow it down if they can. Jordan wanted Baldwin to penetrate more. Don't settle for a fadeaway contested jump shot. Warriors want to work the clock now. Matthias, he's been excellent. And a reaching foul on the freshman. So coming up for the Boilermakers, if they win this game, it'll be seven in a row. And our next five games. Tennessee State, Lipscomb, Rutgers, Nebraska, Michigan as they get in the Big Ten play. I watched that Rutgers team play against Michigan State. At, is that Rutgers? It's a different team. Athletic, guards that can play. Slowly building the program back up. So that should be interesting as far as their next Big Ten game for, for the Boilermakers. Steve Peichel trying yep. to turn it around at Rutgers. Longtime assistant coach to Jim Calhoun. And Connecticut came from Stony Brook. Thias makes that free throw. Fowler in for Weidman. It's 
Second free throw, good. Matthias with a big game. 14 points. Purdue has made 10 free throws in a row. Unbelievable. Matt Painter. Man, ball with dribbles it off of his foot. Right at that time, he, got, he took his eye up. He was looking for Fowler to come across. And as soon as he caught the ball, Gus, I noticed his head go up. And he was looking down the lane, and that caused the ball to go right off his, his left foot. Just one of those days, one of those afternoons where things didn't go right. But they didn't stop fighting. So you able to gather and grab something out of positive if you're Butler in the coaching staff. Remember, Butler has beaten Purdue five straight in this series. Edwards, oh, Stephon Marbury there, folks. You see how he cuffed it in the paint to protect it? That's a Brooklyn, New York move. Baldwin, the other way, blocked by Vincent Edwards. Picked up, Martin, to the basket, and he'll play it in. Sometimes you can play great defense, Gus, and don't get the benefit of it. Excellent hustle by the Boilermakers, but Keenan Martin able to clean up the mess, so to speak, and get it to inside. And a foul in the backcourt on Baldwin. Watch this move. Remember this? Yeah, he played peekaboo. Right here, you see me? Got the ball. Uh-uh. Slide right through. Look at this. I mean, we talked about the strength, the ability, the agility to get through it, then finish with a little spin right there off the glass. So first time I, I, that one. first time I ever saw that move was at Riverbank State Park. Stephon Marbury, the great Georgia Tech player and NBA player, was a senior at Lincoln High School. Stephon special. Still is. As Thompson finally misses one, Harms back in the game. I like Harms. Me too. It seems like he, even though he's only a freshman, he has a great feel for how to play the game. But he loves to play the game. The excitement. Keeps a smile on his face. 78, 62, as we close in on a minute to go. And Thompson with a steal. Thompson racing into the front court. Thompson lays it up and in. P.J. Thompson. And the Boilermakers take an 80 to 62 lead. They've led by as many as 26. Lead. Was cut to nine, but Purdue came right back as Baldwin hits a three. He has 11. Matthias stolen. Jurgensen three. Inside, up and in, Baldwin again with 37.6 to go. Hey, Coach Matt Payne are not happy with the possession right there. Of turning it over. And Thompson trip by Badley. Next five games coming up for Butler. Moorhead State, Western Illinois. Then they get into Big East play with the Hoyas and Villanova and Xavier. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just, see, but you know, the Georgetown game be interesting because we kid a lot about Georgetown's schedule. They are undefeated, but this will give us a barometer on where they're at as a team, but also this, you know, Butler team as well. You got Villanova Xavier. Let's get, it, let's get it easy. Here's a score for you. Rutgers upsets Seton Hall. Did we just talk about that? 71-65. Yes, we were just talking about that. Thompson. 33.8 to go. 82-67, Purdue. Foul. Edwards with a rebound, and that should do it. As he'll get it over the midcourt line. Purdue, 11-2. They've now won seven straight. Boilermakers, they've got it going. They record a season high 10 blocks. Carson Edwards, 18 points, leads five players in double figures.
the final in the Crossroads Classic, 82 to 67. Purdue defeats Butler. For Jim Jackson and Lisa Byington, this is Gus Johnson. We'll send you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles right after this.